Hi, I'm Tammy Cotton Jennings, and for guideline one for my course um, to promote student engagement and community building, I use the forums to begin with to have the students introduce themselves to each other. And in there, I ask them to also say hello and comment on at least two other students' posts, which I get quite a few of, and that works out really well. We also have um, an artist of the week each week and the students talk about the artist and also um, share with each other what they thought about each of those uh, also the videos that intrigue them I also have in announcements um, every few days really I send a lot of announcements to get them to uh, talk to each other talk to us uh, give feedback on things that are important in the course and the other place where I do create that is in Tammy's office. This is a place for them to ask questions and respond to each other. I, I really like them to respond to each other as much as possible. Um, and that is how I reach guideline number one. Hi again, this is for guideline two, my uh, strategy to promote communication from instructor to students and students to student. So in my forum responses, I like to tell them um, what, you know, what they were supposed to do and if they didn't do anything that they were supposed to do, I get back to them and talk to them about uh, the, feed so the feedback for what they did, um, whether it's good news or other news. Um, the other Thing that I um, have them do especially is to talk to each other and organize um, an outing to the museum. So the museum assignment requires that they each visit the museum and I encourage them to communicate with each other um, through the forums and make groups, uh, which they do, which is wonderful for them to, to do that. Um, the other thing I use, again, is the announcements, um, getting back to them and letting them know what's going on each week. They are required in the forums to comment on at least two students' um, work to get their full points. And you can see here, I reiterate that a few times to make sure and let them know that they have to do that. So they are getting all of that information um, and they can also talk to me in Tammy's office whenever they need to. So for guideline three, my strategy for promoting learning activities um, that appeal to multiple learning styles, I love this one. This is one I get to have fun with um, because in my course, uh, particularly because it's an art course, I'm able to give them multiple images. Um, I add quite a few videos for them to look at. So the images for them to look at, there are readings that they read. Um, some of this is just for fun. Some of it is required reading. As you can see here, uh, the videos all have audio and um, CC appropriate for the course. Um, that is also, the museum assignment that they have to do, they're required to visit, um, which means going out, researching, using photographs, sketching, all of the things that, um, that I require them to do, I think appeals to multiple learning styles. Okay, so for guideline four, the best innovative strategy to promote student assessment, this is something I am always working on. I have an introductory quiz that allows students to see if they understand to begin with all of the course content and the syllabus. They do this before they begin um, and they're given instructions on how to do that. Throughout the semester, they have quizzes and games um, for self-checking before uh, taking quizzes uh, they, for retention. I've uh, have lots of ways for them to be graded, multiple choice, discussions, papers, um, hands-on sketching. I use rubrics uh, for them to be able to uh, assess before they turn something in, how they're doing, 
Here's, these are the learning activities and assessments, and then the rubric for the online discussions so they know exactly what they need to do. Um, I also provide feedback on the forums and the museum assignment, and I use a lot of student-generated work to show after, uh, before and after the assignment so they can get an idea of what an A paper looks like. Thank you. Okay, for guideline five, the strategy to support student learning. Uh, first things first, my students, besides taking this quiz, are told what the technology requirements are and what they will be expected uh, to be able to do here. There are also the syllabus, um, which gives them an overview, of course, of, of the course. And under resources, there are quite a few things for them to look into, um, definitions, vocabulary, anything that they might need throughout the course. During the course, they have a, each weekly module, they will have a to-do list to let them know what is expected that week. So here they are, the to-do list, which includes the videos, the readings, and sometimes something funny to keep them interested. I have that in every week. You'll have the to-do list here in week three, after the reading, and the to-do list. And this really helps them uh, to know how to keep on track and see where they're going each week. Thank you.